and robot installations around the world, they're hitting a new high, a record high, beating 2018. And where are these robots going? For the second year in a row, electronics is the biggest application area for robotics. It overtook, two years ago, automotive, and this is showing how robots are being adopted into other industries and actually just as well as automotive. Although the automotive numbers rebounded significantly last year, it's still number two in robotic installations. Drilling down just a little bit deeper, when we look at North America, year over year, the robot installations grew 18% to 43,000 units. And everyone here, we're sitting in the US, so we want to drill one step further. And here we can see that the 10% growth in the US is a bit more modest, but it's still significant. And to tell what the significance is, if we go one step deeper, we can see it. Historically, when we look back to that gray line, 12,900 for 2019, prior to that and that year, automotive was always the largest adopter of automation and robotics. But since that, you can see that the general industries, everything below automotive, collectively are equaling now 53% of robotic installations. We've also heard that from the A3, and it's securing that more and more industries in the US, North America, are adopting robotics. And if we look at Canada, there was quite a rebound to a record high in 2021. This record, re this rebound is significant because it's nearly 40% growth by 1,500 units year over year. And if we go and we look at Mexico, also a significant rebound, although not not a record high, but very significant in its own right, year over year growth of about 60%. In Mexico, automotive still seems to be the highest installation area, and that rebound is coming back from automotive. So if we look forward, what do we have to do in the next coming years? Orders and turnover are growing strongly. The numbers secure that. The numbers, again, confirm what we've been talking about over the last two years. There are still global headwinds, and we're seeing that primarily in the automotive. The automotive is still going to be a significant range of robot installations in the, in the future, and primarily because there's structural changes as well, whether that's EVs or whatever, those processes will still require high levels of automation. But what's going on in China has definitely, it's still providing headwinds. When supply chains, and I think everyone knows that there's no cars on the lot, Quite often, there's other goods and services that are not available. Also, what's significant is the Russian invasion in Ukraine. It's going to cause ripples in Europe, and those ripples will come back to our, to our soil. Also, I think no one in this room has not seen that there's a lack of people. Robots don't replace people, but robots free people and free capacity. So robots allow us to do more worthful jobs and that's not going to change in the coming years. Robots are still going to be significant to make up these gaps. And the other thing that will continue is for sure that diversification that we've seen in the numbers where all the general industries are outweighing automotive will continue. Once these industries have started with automation, there's no reason to think that they won't accelerate and that'll be significant for their own businesses' flexibility in the future.